the AI that goes into our uh, forecasting and placing of inventory is truly amazing. If we think of that as the brains, then the heart of our operations, what we like to refer to as the symphony of humans and robots working together to deliver customer orders. Amazon really got going in a big way with robotics in 2012 with our acquisition of Kiva Systems. Kiva's technology, which we now call Amazon Robotics, enabled a step function change in how much inventory we could store in a building, while also making jobs easier and safer. Uh, as Jeff mentioned earlier, uh, we're excited to share today that we have now deployed over 200,000 uh, robotic drive units since 2012. But again, it's a symphony of humans and robots working together. Uh, and in that same time frame, we've added over 300,000 full-time jobs. But robotic drive units aren't the only robotics we've been deploying in our buildings. Uh, I'll share a couple examples of other systems we've deployed and are excited about. The first is our robotic palletizer. The robotic palletizer is an industrial robotic arm that stacks yellow totes of inventory onto pallets. Um, as Jenny mentioned, placement, how do we get the inventory to the right place? Uh, this, these, these stacks of totes are used to, to transship between our facilities. These robotic palletizers have now lifted over two billion pounds of totes, again, making jobs easier and safer for our associates. In fact, safety really goes into everything we're thinking about in robotics. Uh, we were excited to roll out last year our robotic tech vest, which allows associates to uh, walk safely onto the robotic floor, confident that the drive units will detect them and move out of their way. Uh, but we can't stop here. Customer expectations for convenience, selection, cost, and especially delivery speed uh, continue to increase. And so we realized we needed another step function change in robotics, this time in middle mile logistics. Amazon's middle mile network is really the backbone responsible for connecting our more than 175 fulfillment centers with the thousands of last mile delivery nodes, be them post offices, or our own delivery stations. The core of effective middle mile logistics is package sortation. We sort billions of packages a year. And the challenge in package sortation is how do you do it quickly and accurately? In a world of prime one day, accuracy is super important. If you drop a package off a conveyor, lose track of it for a few hours, or worse, you missort it to the wrong destination, or even worse, if you drop it and damage the package and the inventory inside, we can't make that customer promise anymore. Uh, deeply disappointing uh, to not only our customers, but ourselves. Um, and so we needed something new. We're also, within our middle mile network, there's a lot of different scale of, of, of fan out. We need to, uh, in some facilities, sort to tens of destinations, and others, uh, hundreds of destinations. So we needed a solution that was gonna scale to all that. So I'm excited today to announce, for the first time, our new Pegasus drive sortation system. The Pegasus system uses the same Amazon Robotics technology, but instead of moving pods of inventory, it moves packages to sort destination. Let me, let me take you through a little bit more how this works. An associate inducts a package onto the drive. The drive moves across the robotic field. And, uh, and then is ejected into a chute representing a sort destination. We collect all the packages at the bottom of that chute destined for one uh, destination, move it to outbound transportation, uh, typically to a truck. The, we were able to get this solution up and live, and I'm excited to announce this is, this is live. Already these drive units have, uh, have driven over two million miles in, uh, in service of package sortation. Uh, we were able to get this up and running very quickly uh, due to our investment in simulation. Through simulation, we were able to design, uh, test, and evaluate 
the safety of our induct stations for our associates, and do that combinatorial optimization that Russell described to efficiently route drives from the induct station to their destination sort point, minimizing congestion uh, on the floor and maximizing the throughput of the system. And the results are in this system just works better. Uh, already, this technology reduces uh, miss sorts by more than 50% over our conventional sortation systems. But in developing this, we also realized we had an opportunity to rethink the way we design robotic drives at Amazon. So again, for the first time for the Remars audience, I'd like to show you our new Xanthus drive. The Xanthus drive is much thinner profile, a third the number of parts, half the cost, easier to maintain, but preserves all the safety features of our existing drives, including the ability to detect uh, the robotic tech vest. But what we're really excited about with this is that we're going to be able to use it in multiple applications. The first is a uh, XSort drive. So by putting a, conveyor, co uh, a package conveyance top on top of this, we'll be able to deploy this in our Pegasus sortation systems, um, the new ones going live soon. The, we're also going to be able to use this for multiple different robotic applications, uh, mobility applications throughout, the, uh, throughout our network. But with our recent acquisition of Canvas technologies, we expect to be able to combine this uh, drive platform with the uh, AI and the autonomous mobility capabilities that Canvas technology provides. And for the first time, allow the robots to move outside of our robotic drive fields and interact collaboratively with our associates to do a number of mobility tasks in our building. I'm super excited about everything we're doing in robotics. I could spend all day talking about it, but at this point, I think I'm going to hand off uh, to my friend Rohit Prasad, who will tell you about what we're doing in Alexa AI. <laughs>